Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome back to a game called For the People. I get a lot of vibes of uh, maybe perhaps Papers, Please and a few other of those uh, kind of like weird, wacky uh, fictional worlds, Glory to Astotska, that kind of thing, except this game's a little bit different. We're playing as a uh, satellite state of the Soviet Union, except it's not actually the Soviet Union. In fact, it's not even Earth, but it kind of plays out like that, and it's kind of an interesting game. Now this is the demo version of For the People, so if you want to download it on Steam, it's been a heck of a lot of demos lately. Steam was kind of running an event recently where pretty much every game under the sun got like a little bit of a demo, and I got emailed about it. So let's start a new game on this one, see what the demo's like, and if you'd like to see more of this game, make sure you smash that like button to support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Welcome aboard. And of course, click or tap join to become a member of Raptoria. Glory to Raptoria as we begin. Let's see what's in this game, I guess. I don't know anything about it, so I guess we'll have to see. Corvin Empire, that exploited working people, fell and gave a chance for a better future for all common people all over the world, regardless of their gender, skin color, and social status. We believe that the whole world would follow us, but our hopes for a world revolution and a brighter future were not to come true. We were alone. All these years, the country wisely guided by our communion working party, Comrade Joseph Steele, the General Secretary of the CUWP and the Chairman of the Supreme Council of the Union of Communes, has ruled over our state for the last 15 years. It was a surprise for all of us when the, on the anniversary of his election to this post during the 20th Party Congress, he announced that the appointment of the uh, Comrade Guy Dare, a young and energetic reformer, as the Chairman of the Communion Executive Committee. I will never forget that Comrade Steele's face staring at me in the photo in the newspaper. It was like he was looking into my soul. We were all covered by the feeling of changes that we had to go through, but it, I could not even guess how quickly I would be dragged into what was happening. My name is Francis River. I'm 26. I graduated with honors from Corvington Institute of Management and National Economy. And after that, I joined the CUWP, where I've been active member of its Allstads department for the last three years. The phone rang suddenly on the evening of September 11th. The uh, Central Committee of the, CW, the CUWP called me. I was told that according to the, news, the new course policy, I got into the staff rotation program as a worthy CUWP member and an outstanding alumnus of the Corvington Institute. That's how I found myself in Iron Dash 1. Iron Dash 1 was founded in Corvin Empire in 1888 near the Wolfram Deposits. It's been known as a Blackmont, as Blackmont then. It was a small minor town which our glorious Orange Revolution turned into a leading industrial city with almost 50,000 citizens. Almost half of them are representatives of Kent people, others are Corvian. I was appointed to be the head of the city committee. I have become the ruler of this town. I have to move to my new office today? Oh, wow, we're like the mayor? What? Okay. Uh, Wednesday, the 14th of September. <clears throat> new phone, who dis? Comrade River, Colonel John Chester came to visit you. Ah, yes, thank you. Invite him inside, please. Oh. Oh, he looks like an American general. John Chester. I'm glad to meet you at last, Comrade Francis River. Good morning, Comrade Colonel. Take a seat, please. Would you like a cigarette? I guess that's a yes. Much obliged. It's cozy in here. None of what I got. All the dozens of posters and hundreds of handbooks, thousands of regulations. I always thought it was like that only in the army. I sympathize, that is. Yep, but you're the one who deserves sympathy here. Why do you think so? You were assigned to a real nest of vipers, full of slippery, servile, greedy for benefit proletarians. I'm afraid you're going a bit too far. Our country was founded on the principle of defending the proletariat's happiness. Our country was created for the happiness of all, but in Iron Dash 1, workers want to be happier than the rest, and at the expense of you and me as well. Colonel, I just hope that is the only appear to me that the important business that you wanted to discuss is just idle reflections on people's happiness. Yeah. You run a tight ship, of course. I remember about business I was hinting at. The thing is that the workers in our country are hogging the covers and their demands for medical insurance don't take into account the harmonious existence with this other strata of our society. They don't take us into account. The police need the support of the city committee and if you uh, don't forget us and 
a deplorable situation, we in turn won't forget you. Uh, we have to make a decision here. Let's see. I guess I'll do my best to normalize the situation in the city. Great. Much appreciated, Comrade River. You can count on me as well. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, so he's like the chief of police, maybe? Not sure exactly. Respond to official appeals from citizens and city services. Let's take a look at the city. Uh, attitude to the city committee and the budget. We have two... Wait, we have 20,000? Or two... 200 yeah okay okay I don't know what these numbers are this must be how much what our budget is and then this is overall happiness St like standard maybe or uh, let's see bazaars district Orion's district Wolfram and miners district okay interesting so this must be like our office here these must be where the residents live maybe the university more residents Maybe more workers' homes or something. Well, I don't. I don't know what any of this is. Okay, respond to city official appeals. Urgent. Top secret. Code orange. I hope my letter won't be intercepted. Comrade, head of the city. I believe you understand this document must not fall into their hands. You must. You must ask who are they. Oh, well. So far, they don't get to me. I can report to you. Our glorious city has become the seat of conspiratorial uh, units of capitalists and at their and their sympathizers. This filthy sect glorifies the prophet is based at the address. Proletariat Strength Street, <laughs> building number five. Once I've seen them uh, handing out banned books to children and showing them pictures that uh, besmirch our union. Hurry up, we must not delay, otherwise they will corrupt from within. Comrade Elvin Mastain. Uh, I can't believe, get the police to the crime scene immediately. All right, I guess dis deploy the police to investigate, but it's not like anything will happen. There we are. Uh, in... Integrity Division Squad broke into the office of the small charity, which brought books for the children from the Orson citizens are not pleased. Okay. I didn't ask them to break in. I just said to investigate, but okay. All right. So I guess our actions will have dire consequences. So uh, I guess somebody was reporting what they thought to be like somebody distributing illegal books, except we told the police to investigate and they broke in rather than dealing with the situation gently. So now that's on us. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, let's see. Let's start start scam, uh, scanning through these. Let's see. Let's see. Denied what they should do. Charge waste to the pond. It should handle it immediately. Why do they discharge waste to the pond? Yes, that's a good question, actually. You decided to stop the e this ecological mess. The internal investigation on the plant showed that the dumping its hazardous chemicals to the pond was individual uh, initiative of one mid mid-level employee. Heard a rumor about the testing, etc., etc. Probably after some time it'll regenerate and the swans will live there again. Okay, so somebody was illegal dump dumping. Nice. Okay, let's see. Next one. Uh, let's see. I filled a report to the Integrity Division, but they denied it. Perhaps they're afraid of the accident, afraid of ethnic tensions or something like that. I beg you for the troublesome granddad. Find the perpetrators. I can. Uh, it cannot be forgiven. Uh, let's see. Scoundrels beat him nearly to death. Oh, I see. Uh, let's see. Neither I want to be a part of it, but it should help Granddad. He deserves the quality of treatment in the regional hospital. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Find and punish these scoundrels immediately. I just want to launch further investigations, not necessarily, you know, tr judge, jury, and execution. Um, well, let's pick the top option. When you ordered the Integrity, uh, integrity Division count found Kentish teens without difficulty, it turned out that they're young gang members engaged in robbery and burglary. The investigation is ongoing. Oh, that's probably good. Uh, let's see. We therefore encourage you to arrange search, uh, selection, and training of citizens who meet requirements. For what now? Uh, let's see. Candidates. For what now? Uh, let's see. Failure. The. Okay. Oh, well. Ah, here we are. Exper first experimental elections to miss. Whoa. Self governed bodies. Whoa. No, 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 no. Not in this country. All right. There we are. <clears throat> New phone, who dis? Uh, head of the city committee, Francis River, on the line. Uh, hello, Comrade River. Uh, that's Jack Chester, head of the Kloss Wolfram uh, Metallurgical Plant. Hello, Comrade. Glad to meet you. I'm so glad. Cong congratulations on your appointment as head of the city committee. Can you spare me a minute? Certainly. Go ahead. 
Comrade River. I got a call from the regional committee and they asked you to convey that since you are now the head of the glorious city, we need to speak to the workers of the plant. Hmm, that's strange. Why would they call you and not me? Well, apparently they decided to contact me directly so that I could take on the organization immediately. I'll pick you up tonight about 7 o'clock. Well, looks like they don't exactly have a choice. I'll be waiting for you, Comrade Chester. Goodbye, Comrade River. Okay. Uh, your day is over. You may leave. Oh, cool. Well, we can't, there, Here's our country right here. It almost looks like Yuktabania or something like that from Ace Combat 5. Uh, more of a map here, but nothing we can see. Uh, oh, uh, information on some of the people we'll be interacting with. Lieutenant Colonel Sylvester Bayer, uh, Carl Backot, uh, Colonel John Chester, Jack Reed. Oh, looks like a lot of important players here. And their backgrounds and what they do. Okay. Uh, newspaper, the Iron Herald. Health insurance is a gift for workers. Well, it should be guaranteed according to this style of government. Day is over, you may leave. Okay. Let's see. So we didn't gain or lose anything with anybody, so it's kind of more of like a tutorial. Minus 19, though. Probably for me having people break into their homes, but I guess that's okay for a tutorial. These are those kind of games where it's like, uh, you know, you click on one thing being like, pet the dog, and then the dog bites you. Oh, the dog had rabies and everyone's dead. It's like, oh, come on. Good evening, Comrade Chester. Oh, yeah, this is the dude picking us up. Cool. Ah, yes, it's a really great evening, comrade. Head of the city committee, how do you feel about your new post? I need time to settle into it. I feel like a stranger here. This music's great. Listen to this tune. I like that. Well, Francis, it all goes away. Have you prepared a speech? Yes, to say the truth, I'm a little worried. I've never had a chance to perform in public. Never mind, they're just workers. Actually, they don't care much about your speech. Then what's all this for? Ah, uh, mere formality. But it's important. Uh, it seems that we've already arrived. Well, that was fast. Well, what did we go? Two blocks? We barely spoke. Uh, where are we exactly? After you, Francis. Oh. What is this? <clears throat> My dear <clears throat> comrades, proletarians, uh, I'm, I'm glad to be here with you today to see your bright faces. Your hard work is the pride of not only your city, but also the entire union of people's orange communes. I swear in front of all the people gathered here to fulfill my duty to the citizens of Iron Dash 1. And to work so that the party will be proud of the results as much as it is proud of you. Thank you, comrades. Great speech, Francis. You were worrying about nothing. Now it's my turn. Walter Weiss. Comrade River. Comrade River, I need to talk to you urgently. H hello, and, and you are? My name's Walter Weiss. I'm a workers' union rep. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, comrade. Uh, uh, comrade River, we have a difficult situation in the plant. It's caused by a medical insurance reform? Why do you think so? Your predecessor, Comrade Le Lebowski, never gave us any answer. Uh, this is my third day here, Comrade Weiss. And that is why we've decided to meet you personally. We ask you to review the reform. Comrade Weiss, I'm sorry, but we have to go now. I'm sure he'll get it sorted out. The other day. Oh, so the workers are very upset over the healthcare situation in the factories. So we'll need to uh, think about the reform. I like the art style of this game. Everything's done really nicely. All right, it's the next day now. Who are these folks? Helen. Good morning, Francis. Good morning, Helen. Meetings with the head of the departments are scheduled for today, Lieutenant. Colonel Bear from the fire department has already arrived. Oh, let him in. Excellent. Yes, let's meet with the fire department. How are things? Oh, cool. He's got the uh, fireman's helmet, too. Comrade River. Good morning. And good morning to you, Lieutenant, uh, Comrade Lieutenant Colonel. In order not to waste neither your or my time, I'll get straight to the point. Firefighters in our city are acute need of practically everything. There's a handful of cars in working condition. 
My people drive to the calls, praying to at least get to the place of the incident. If it's a serious fire, really, uh, really would happen in the city, we won't be able to cope with it. That would be lucky if we at least can contain it. We barely got enough money for salaries and social securities. I hope that I can clearly convey the seriousness of the situation and that you'll take it into account when allocating budgets. Well, I really hope that everything will be that will be able to help you, but you must understand that I have to hear everyone else as well to have a clear picture of the situation in the city. The situation in the city? The situation is that here is located one of the largest metallurgical plants in the country, which equipment wear and tear doesn't reduce the risk of fire. I won't be able to cope with the fire in such a huge, decrepit enterprise. You're a man from far off shores, but I think you're able to assess the scale of the disaster if the whole city suddenly were to be out of work. I'll share your concern, but the situation is complicated, not only for you, so I will not give you any premature promises. Copy that. I'll wait for your final decision. Goodbye, Comrade River. Goodbye, Comrade Bear. Let's take a look at his file for a second. Oh god, his phone's gonna ring forever. Hold on. <clears throat> Car Comrade River. Carl Backett, the chief of doctor of the First City Hospital, is waiting for... Oh, in reception. Okay, let him in. Alright. So now we have, like, the head of doctors. So first it was the fire department, now it's the doctors. This guy doesn't look like a doctor. Good afternoon, Comrade River. Good afternoon, Comrade Backett. You can call me Carl. I don't really like all these formalities. Excuse me, Comrade Barcott, but I'm probably young enough to be your son. Well... As you wish. I hope that in the future we'll be able to overcome these uh, prejudices. It's just respect, Comrade Backhut. Nothing more. Respect to you and your profession. Oh, I could go for hours talking about how respect is earned by deeds and not by age, but I'm afraid we've got business to talk. Well, I'm listening. Well, you'll probably be surprised, but I will not try to beg for funding, talking about troubles and hardships, although dramatizing is an old habit of the heads and departments of our city. I'd like to talk to you about something else about the six sexes of our city hospital. With your honorable predecessor, uh, Comrade Lebowski, uh, we introduced a new package of the m medical insurance for workers of the Klaus Wolfman plant. Now common working people can get medical care in full. Sounds great, Comrade Backett, but you didn't come here to boast, did you? You're right. We really want to extend the new package to all civil servants of our city, and we can't do it without the city budget. And you're saying that you wouldn't ask for money. Oh, please. I just refuse to exaggerate. We have enough funds for the basis of needs, but it could always be better. Well, that sounds reasonable. I'll think about it and let you know about my decision in the next few days. Then goodbye, Comrade River. Goodbye, Comrade Back. Hmm. Jeez, another phone call? Comrade River, Janine Kipler, the head of the Livelihood Committee, is here. My God, there's so many of them. I can't keep up with this stuff. Uh, what should I answer? Tell her I'm out for lunch. We'll be done. Wouldn't she, wasn't she just right there listening? All right, here's the uh, colonel for the fire department. No children. He's single. Age is... I don't know what the current year is. I wasn't paying attention, I guess. He's not a party member. Records... Oh, disorderly conduct during his year of studies... Let's see. Not awarded due to murky past and an undetermined origin. Hmm. A suspicious character. Here's the doctor. Party member since 1960. No criminal record. Numerous certificates award for medical achievements. Hmm. Okay, so the doctor is much more trustworthy, it seems. Married. And has a wife, so it's likely that he won't be abandoning our people anytime soon with his family here. Hold on just a second. That's right. Uh, let's see. We have his address. He lives here in Orion. And this guy lives in Mahat. I don't know exactly where that is. Interesting. All right, let's make some decisions. Now, it's best for us to, to skip these. Obviously, I'm skipping these because, you know, we got a whole video to get through, and me reading every single word would be time-consuming time on these long documents. So we're just skipping forward through things just for brevity. I love puppies and kitties very much. I always wanted to help them. Can you help me build a shelter for them? Uh, let's see. Wonderful. Who else will write to me? An infant? Out of mouths of babes. Animal really, animals really need our help. Um, well, that might generate some good news. Let's do that. 
You built a shelter for animals using budget funds, and that pleased little Bohem and other tender-hearted citizens. However, a region committee doesn't approve of such familiar spending out of the budget money. All right, well, we'll deal with them later. Uh, let's see, what's the next one? Uh, let's see, Kentish Heroes of the Civil War. Ooh, that, that could have some sort of divisive stuff if there was a civil war. Uh, the public will not accept such a mob uh, monument. I agree with that. You saved the historic appearance of the Revolution Martyr Street. Views differed about the prohibition of the monument, but at least it will not provide unrest. Yep. Let's see. Ooh, TLDR. Uh, let's see. This man is not allowed near children. Uh, let's see. Better march to march than break a windows. Uh, let's see. Even a R word could figure it out. Okay, wow. Uh, let's see. All this needs to be stopped. Leisure time. I was working in a plan that would eliminate the signs of moral degradation. Uh, let's see. 100, 200 youngsters age 12 to 16 personally take responsibility. It is crystal clear that I have enough experience. For what now? 17th Rifle Division retired. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So he's trying to uh, basically get kids to like uh, be a part of like a more militarized Boy Scout. Uh, hmm. Calm disappointment in the Miners District. Everyone else is indifferent. Does this affect that district? Let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and approve it and see what happens. Uh, let's see. Supported Johnson's idea. Frequently engaged in starting the camp. Call, pulling out weeds over tiles. Colonel Guards. So, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, I think we did everything. Oh, hello. Oh, what is that? Soup and water? Francis? And who turned up this time, Helen? No one. It's just me. I noticed you hadn't eaten anything, so I made oatmeal for you. Oh, that's very nice. Very nice. Francis, I can't eat one more oatmeal. You have no choice. You really know how to convince a man. Thank you very much. Ask me anytime. Oh, cool. Oatmeal. Thank you. Uh, by the way, Helen, you must be head over heels and work today. You can take a, a, a day off tomorrow. Uh, I'll think it over. Why would you just randomly give her a day off? I kind of need her for the first few days. And if not her, just somebody to cover in. Uh, your The party has a mission for your agents. Ah, we can spy now on our people. Uh, attitude to the city committee and the budget. 30% in the miners district. Well, everybody else is getting happier towards us. we got to get that miners district up, and I think that might be maybe down here. I don't know exactly what the districts are. Okay, mission goal. Let's see. The ethics committee party has received several anonymous messages pointing out that unacceptable behavior of comrade Kevin Brody the editor of the Social Development Department of the Iron Herald is being accused of unpunished harassment towards female interns, which sometimes leads to utterly obscene actions. These accusations are too serious to be ignored, but starting an official investigation based on unverified data appears to be undesirable. The party instructs you to address this delicate question, determine the validity of the accusations, and report the collected data to the regional committee. Uh, well, I agree with that. We should investigate. What are the differences here between our people? Uh, let's see. Uh, why don't we also send an intern to the newspaper? Let's see how justified these accusations are. Uh, we should keep an eye on Brody. Maybe we'll find something out. We should find the people recently did an internship and talk to them. Hmm. Well, that could raise suspicions. We would have one person on the inside observing for us. Uh, or we keep an eye specifically on that guy. This one seems like a, probably the most intelligent thing to do to find out what's going on in there, but that would raise suspicion. And they kind of want us to keep it quiet. Although I don't know exactly what... Oh, read the dossier there. Uh, well, let's send a uh, lady. And let's send, let's send an intern in. Let's send our lady. And this will be the quietest method, I think. If the government wants to keep things quiet, but also find out what's going on, that might be the best move. Is there a knock at the door? Hello, ma'am. Hello, Comrade River. My name is uh, Jean Kipler. I'm the head of the Livelihood Committee. Ah, yes. Hello, Comrade K uh, Kipper. Kipler. Please take a seat. Thank you. Sorry for the wait, Comrade. I had my lunch. It's all right, Comrade River. I used to wait for weeks when the head of the city committee, uh, committee was uh, Comrade Lebowski. Was he really that busy? He was busy with taking care of his beloved self and the chair, which is now yours, that helped him in his self-passion. I'm really happy that 
He is finally thrown. It's too bad that the only formal reason is a pension. What reason would you prefer? Comrade Lebowski was looking for any benefits wherever he could, even in the restroom. I'm afraid I, he couldn't first seek money. I wouldn't say that his work had any good impact on our town, but it doesn't matter now. Justice is always significant. If everybody in this country thought the same way, but we would have to get to the point. The wear and tear of the municipal heating system is about 40%. We must change pipes now, otherwise hundreds of families will remain without heating this winter. Furthermore, the city needs to buy uh, new s snow clearing equipment coming for the winter season. All right, I'll consider what I can do. You're not the first person today who's asked for financing. Thank you, Comrade River. I think you, unlike your predecessor, can really make the right decisions. Goodbye. I had a thought. The fire department seems like a good one to fund, because obviously fires, and it might be a good idea to plow the streets, too, because if winter's coming, emergencies need to be, you know, take the streets, both fire and, uh, and also hospitals, so if we keep the streets clear and the buildings running, that would probably have a positive benefit on health and emergencies, so that's one way to help out the fire and the hospitals, and also the roads department, too. That's a good option. Looks like all of these are done. I think we leave for the day. Did we have a document on her? Let's see. I don't think I see her face in here. Sarah. Ah, there she is. Hmm. Party member since 64. Works as a journalist. Her child. Oh. Oh, but that's for the different newspaper. Okay. Well, let's take the day off now. Ah, good. Plus plus 11%. Excellent. So things have improved overall. Good. Excellent. All right, let's end the day. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Are we on a date? Yes. Can you imagine? He just left me without explaining anything. It's so painful to see all this. The horrible indifference to me. I'm so angry at this ungrateful man. How could he do this to me? It's really awful. He shouldn't... Uh, hello, is this your first time here? Yes, I'm new in town. Nice place. So, you're new here. Just like our new head of the city committee. Then you should try our fresh light beer. It was brought this morning. Yes, thank you. A pint, please. As for the head of the city committee, let me introduce myself, Francis River. So you're... Hello, comrade, head of the city hall. Sorry for eavesdropping, but... Comrade River, such a pleasant meeting. It's mutual. I've always thought that only elderly can take up leadership positions. Well, I think you've heard that the party set course towards rejuvenation. Emma Dormer, by the way. There's no need to call me formally. Then call me Frank, Emma. What makes you so upset? You know, Francis, some men just don't appreciate what we do for them. This is so mean. But let's stop talking about them. I wouldn't want to spoil the evening. Then here's to this evening. I like how our little uh, thingy here is a stamper. It's great. Oh, so we're leaving the bar. Uh oh, she's that's a lot of hand contact, ma'am. Uh, I haven't had such a nice time for long. Frank, maybe it's worth repeating. Tomorrow, for example. Then at the same time, in the same place? Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't think Frank is married, so... Uh, or Francis, sorry. Uh oh Hello, Helen. Good morning, Francis. Hello, Helen. I suppose you decided that you didn't need a day off. Oh, I'd rather take another day off, if you don't mind. Furthermore, you didn't file official papers about allocating the budget. It's not an easy task, so I'll never forgive myself for leaving you without my assistance. All right, so what's the official papers should I fill? It's all about allocating the budget, Francis. Funds are limited, but you have to choose only two departments to increase funding for. After all, yesterday's meetings have you decided who needs the money more than others. Yes, Helen, it seems that we've come to a certain understanding. 
with Chester, so the first department will be the police. Good. You need to choose the second one. Um, oh, right. The police, too. I forgot all about that. City Hospital seemed fine. The fire committee was a little edgy, so let's go with the livelihood committee. All right, Francis. I'll handle the rest myself. Livelihood, of course, was the um, pipes and the, the roads and such. Which is a weird name. That should be called Public Works. Comrade River, you have a call from the head of the Livelihood Committee. Uh, hello, this is Comrade River. Uh, you proved that you're much more responsible for your duty than your predecessor. Thank you very much for the allocation of the... What was it? Instantaneous? Ma'am, I literally just wrote it down. Thank you for your proposition, Comrade Kipler. I hope we can solve many of the town's problems. Goodbye, Comrade River. Oh my god. Now the fire department's going to be pissed. Integrity division, that's the cops. Comrade River, that's Chester. I'm calling to thank you for your decision. It's nothing, Comrade Chester. What would we do without the... Mi Millies? Oh, military police. Millies, okay. I'm glad that my first impression about you was right. I sometimes hear those called militia, too. If you ever need my help, just call. I'll take that into consideration. Goodbye. Well, at least we can see what date it is. Anybody else coming in? No. Okay. Let's take a look at our decisions for the day. Nothing else. Nothing else here. Ah, let's see how things are going here. The agent got into the newspaper disguised as an intern and tried to find out the truth. It was a success. He found out the... Uh, he? There was a, I thought that was a lady right there. Whatever. He found out that the anonymous accusations are true, and Brody really bothers young women who get into the editorial office. Uh, let's see. Wait, did he quit? Brody has already quit his job. He doesn't know it yet. Oh, I see. We should enlighten him. Oh, I see. So we're going to tell him basically that he needs to resign. I see no reason to talk to him. It's better to go to the editor-in-chief. Uh, let's see. That city hall grew interested in one of her employees. No. Uh, let's see. We can do that. Let's send someone beefy. Let them explain our deal to the comrade. Uh, no, he should just resign now. He needs to quit. And that. I think there should be other options, but... This might raise suspicion with the public, and this one is physical violence, so I think he needs to just be terminated immediately for his actions. Wait. John Chester has more, has sent a more qualified agent, so you no longer require Helen's friend's help. Wait, are these more options due to... Oh, I see. I understand. Okay, let's go with this one. My God. Hello, YouTuber. Uh, yes, how can I... How how could you allow a shortage of essential medical supplies, Francis? Are you trying to start an epidemic? Uh, what? Do not shift responsibility. F fighting emergencies like this, as well as providing the city with necessary supplies, is the responsibility of the city committee. It's your duty, and frankly, right now, you're not doing a very good job. I can't be expected to... Wonderful. You probably don't know how the specifics of transport, logistics, and priority development regions. What? This what? Don't waste our time. Just listen and remember what I have to say. Iron One is an essential link of the regional production chain. Yes, I improved the roads for that reason. Why are you yelling at me? This guy is just here to complain about everything. There's no right decisions here. Because even though we chose the livelihood department, he's still complaining. Alright, whatever. Okay, yeah, get off get off the line. I gotta Ooh, wait, resources. Ooh, allocate resources. Neat. Ah, so now we can do things like iron, metal, fuel, light industry, medicine, and food. Cool. Now we can plan the economy. Neat. All right. Ooh, what is that? Monument to the uh, Battle of Wilhelmskloger, 1924. Oh, clearly that's the statue for the Battle of Stalingrad. Interesting. What would that do? Well, it's just a monument, I guess. Oh, wow. We can actually go into full mode now and allocate resources. Holy crap. That's really cool. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the office, though. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for joining me. I've got some business with Helen. We are going to be playing two-player Pac-Man, actually. I think Miss Pac-Man. Isn't that multiplayer? Yeah, I'm going to beat her in the high score. All right, guys, if you want to see more of this game, make sure you smash that like button. I like it so far, so I hope to see you all next time for more. Thank you for the support, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye, comrades. This game's interesting. I like it.